checking to make sure everything's working here. Hope so. I think it is, guys. I believe so. The mouse isn't wanting to work very well, but we'll get it going here. Uh, hope everybody's doing well and uh, had a good day. I am uh, going to do a really quick video for you. And what it's about is tracers. Some people call them templates. Some people call them tracers. So if you want to know what they are, then stay tuned for a few minutes and I'll show you how to how to use them. My name is Vicki Jean Wilson and I have Vicki Jean Wilson Art and I help you to create art that you love. And I work with children and adults and I teach uh, basically acrylic paintings, uh, some watercolor, but most of it is acrylic painting. And a lot of times people do not want to sketch. They don't feel confident in sketching uh, out a, uh, a bird or a, a landscape or whatever it might be on their canvas. Whether they're painting on canvas or on wood, it doesn't really matter. They want to paint, but they don't feel comfortable in sketching. And I find that uh, happens quite a bit. And so uh, one of my goals for this year was to come up with some more of tracers or templates for people to use. Now I am offering a free one and uh, after this video, <clears throat> excuse me, after this video, I will put the link in so that you can get a free tracer. And what a tracer is, is just a sketching that I have done on paper and you download it to your computer and you print it out to whatever size that you want and then you put it on the canvas or the wood. So I'm going to do the overhead camera here for a couple of minutes and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in case you're not uh, familiar with tracers. Some people call them, like I said, templates. Some people call them tracers. So let me adjust the camera here. And we're going to go on the overhead camera and you're going to see my work table here and uh, i have a canvas i have a, a 10 by 10 canvas here i also have a smaller canvas a 5 by 7 but uh, it doesn't really matter uh, what size the thing is you will have to go in and kind of adjust it on your own but the tracers that i do are on a regular uh, sheet a letter sheet of paper and as you can see the tracer is just black lines of the shapes of the images here's one that I have here uh, and they're usually very simple you want them kind of simple because you're going to be doing the painting you're the artist and you're going to be doing the painting so you don't need a bunch of fluff everywhere you just want the simple shapes here's another one that I'm going to be doing in a group See, it's just, it's got the simple shapes, nothing really fancy, but this gives you an idea of uh, maybe the position of things and the arrangement of, of things. Uh, this one is, of course, you can tell there's two large images here, two large flowers. Then I've got some tulips around. I've got leaves around. I've got a little vase here. So this is the main thing that you're going to uh, copy off and then you're going to use it on either your canvas or your wood or whatever that you are going to be painting on. Here is another one, a little bit, little bit more detailed here. I thought this was a cute spring one. Got a spring envelope here that you could even decorate more and all these cute little flowers. They'd be pretty with all kinds of colors. But this already gives you traced out. You don't have to trace this. You don't have to worry about getting the position or anything. You're going to have that with you. Here's another one. Nice little bird nest. Bird nests are always fun in the spring. A lot of people like to paint bird nest. And I've got a branch here. Some leaves. And of course the bird nest and the eggs. And then I have one. I mean you can have spring without a bunny, right? You gotta have a bunny rabbit of some kind. So this is a simple shape. You've got some flowers over here. You can even duplicate these flowers, 
kind of a cut and paste. If you wanted more flowers on this side, you could use that same tracer here, put it over here too. You can change these how, how you want. But the main thing is, is how to use the tracers. So I'm just gonna grab one right here. Let's grab this first one here that we had, the hummingbird. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, when you use your tracers, of course you need something that you're going to put the tracer shape on. Like I said, if you get one from me, then you're going to download this, real easy to do on your computer, and then you just print it off. When you print it off, it's gonna look just like this. You're just gonna have the black, the white paper with the black lines on it, right? So when you get that, uh, you'll have that in hand, you'll have your canvas, and then one other thing that you need is some tracing paper. Now tracing paper, I got this one off of a roll, so I just kind of cut it and, and tear it off the size that I need. So as you look on the tracing paper, there's a darker side and there's a lighter side. See how this is a little bit lighter on this side, it's kind of a light gray where this is a darker side. Well you want to turn it over where the darker side is up against your canvas. So see so you see the lighter side on top and the darker side is right next to your canvas. Hold that down. Now sometimes if it's a very detailed tracing or a pattern that you want to do, I do recommend getting you some uh, painter's tape or even scotch tape and kind of taping the sides, getting it where you want it, right? Cover your, your tracing paper on your canvas, getting it where you want it, and then taping the sides. That way it keeps it from moving around and shifting on you. But if it's something pretty simple, like this little hummingbird, then you're probably good just the way it is. You're gonna kind of center it, and you kind of feel, kind of feel, here's the top of my canvas. Of course, we can still see the sides. Here's the bottom of the canvas. Now, in this case, this paper is a little bit longer than my canvas. If that does happen, you can always cut and paste these, like cut this around, move it up if you want to. You can do this however you want. It's real easy to do. You've got the main template, right? And so if you don't want this flower up here, just don't, don't trace that flower. And if you want this hummingbird to look more angled down, then you're gonna kind of cut around it and make it angled, right? So it's kind of like a puzzle. So let's just start tracing. So what we've got, we've got our canvas, we've got our paper here. Remember the dark side is always down. Uh, it's right next to the canvas. Then you've got your tracing paper uh, that I've got you or your template. So you can use just a regular pencil to do this. There's also another little tool, it's called a stylus. See on the stylus, you've got a larger round head here on the stylus and then you have on the other end, there's usually, a, I've got carbon on me so my fingers are uh, dark. Uh, or you have a smaller one. So you have a larger one here and a smaller one here. Now this can be used all kinds of ways, but you can also use this to do the tracing. And instead of marking up your paper here, this won't mark it up, right, where a pencil will. But if you don't have all that fancy smancy, you don't need it, you can just use this pencil. And you're going to just go over those lines. What I do recommend is doing a few lines here first, not very far, don't go very far, and then lift up this and make sure that it's going on your canvas, and it is. Make sure that you can see it, right? And I can see that just fine. So I'm gonna put it back down. Now let's see what this little guy does. We're gonna use this, and see it doesn't make any kind of mark on your tracer. I'm holding my paper down and trying to stay on the line. I had coffee, so, you know. <laughs> you know what coffee does sometimes. Let's see what happens. See, I can still see it. And using the stylus, it, doesn't, it didn't do anything uh, to my tracer here. So I could keep it and reuse it, in other words. So let's go up here. We can go ahead and use the pencil again. 
So you can do whatever you've got, even an ink pen, of course, can, can work. And the idea is to get the basic shape. You are going to be painting this, right? But you don't have to worry about anything but painting now. You've already got that. So I've got these two. Now remember I said that this one here is kind of off the side. So I've already got these two guys already done. Now I do need to get his eye. Get his eye in there. I don't need to get all the details, but I do need to get the main ones, right? So I like the way that looks. Now since this one is a little bit farther down, I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to lift that up and make sure that that will work. I don't want to run into my bird. So it looks like it's going to work. I just kind of shifted my paper around a bit to make it fit. And like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. You're just basically getting the basic shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be painting this. And if you don't like to come up with ideas or if you don't like to sketch, this is the way to do it. Let's see? You can see all that. I moved that up. I still like the position of it. If I wanted to add some more flowers, let's just say I do. Let's just say I want to add another little flower. Well, I've got this already done, right? Just maneuver it around. Just change it around. Move it somewhere else. Let's say I kind of want a flower down here on the bottom. I don't want a large one. I'm going to put it where I like it. I'm going to lift it up. Put my paper underneath it. Remember, dark side down. Let's just add another little flower here. Very easy to do. Very easy to do. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. See, very easily I added another little flower. So you can make it the way you want to, right? So that is exactly how you do a tracer. You will end up with some black on your fingers. It's easy to wash off, right? So if you would like to get a free tracer from me, give me a few minutes and when this live gets posted, I will post on the comments a, a new tracer that you can get uh, that I'm giving away and uh, you can uh, get one and I will get the link in the comments and uh, that's how you do it guys it's really easy if you are not a person that likes to sketch and if you even if you are a person that likes to sketch and you want to come up with some like fresh ideas to paint uh, then uh, this is a great way to do it and you've already got the tracing all done and I do a lot of uh, paint parties I do a lot of painting classes uh, for children and adults and I'm finding that this is more popular to ha to provide a tracer so uh, this year that's what I'm going to do on unless it's just something that uh, like if it's an art more of an art class then I work with you on learning how to do the sketching of different things but uh, for just fun and paint parties this is kind of the way to go right so I uh, hope that has explained to you how to do a tracer how easy it is to do the tracer and uh, like I said, you don't need many materials. You need uh, some kind of uh, uh, pencil or a stylus like I showed you. You need something that you need to paint on. Of course, you need the tracer and you need your tracing paper. Remember, the dark side goes down up against your canvas or wood and there you go. That's it. Next thing you have to do is just grab your paints and grab your brush and we can paint together, right? So I hope this has helped you on learning how to use a tracer and uh, how easy it is. So until next time, um, I will see you soon, I'm sure. But look in the comments here in a few minutes and I will give you a link to a free tracer. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.